good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And we are here with the Nicolo Nicoletta Ciccoli deck. I'm going to try that again. Nicoletta Ciccoli. Yes. This is her tarot deck. I'm dubbing it the deck of the creepy dolls. We've got a box that has some of the images on there. And I do like it, but the box is really cheap. So I probably will cut out the images at some point and use them in a collage because it did come with this cute little bag that I can keep the cards in. It also came with one of the cheaper little pamphlet books with just a couple sentences in it about the keywords and things like that of each card. So it's more to jog your brain on what they mean rather than go in depth as some of the other books that we've seen. I really love this deck for its imagery. I do not super love it for the symbolism in it and jogging your brain on what each card means. So if you're new to tarot, this may not be the deck for you, but it may be kind of a, a stretch goal, sort of, I will learn to read the tarot so that I can use this deck because it is really fun and really pretty. So let's see what card we've got today. Ah okay, we have the High Priestess. How do I know it's the High Priestess? Because there is a Roman numeral two at the top and the bottom of this that is not an 11 that is roman numerals learn them because there is no words on the major arcana in this deck it's just the roman numeral to clue you in on what is going on so i really like the symbolism on this one for a bunch of reasons but also i really just like that she's sort of coming out of this mountain and that's super cool and also the crown is floating above her head so i want to start with that so the crown is floating above her head. It is not part of her. It is not on her, which to me definitely is all about that crown chakra energy. I know I might be stretching on this one, but it's floating out above her. It is from the, from the ether. It is from the other side. It is from the Akashic records. She's getting this information from deeper, more esoteric realms. So it is not earthbound. It is things that are of other worlds that we are getting. And yes, it is a little bit of instinct, but it's more like that your guardian angels sort of talking to you kind of thing. So that's more what this energy is. Messages from the other side, messages from your higher self and higher knowledge. So that aspect is represented. And I'm not sure how well it comes out on camera, but there are two trees at the bottom of this which usually our high priestess is seated or standing between two pillars, one black, one white. And again, that is the dynamic of light and dark. It is shadow and light. It is night and day. It is all of those kinds of things. And the trees, one is very dark and I think kind of slightly larger. And the other one looks kind of like it's lighter, maybe even white. It's hard to tell. On the, yeah, we'll say it's a white tree and it's back a little further and it's smaller. So I, I'm i a little unsure of why they're, one is larger than the other. If anybody wants to like chime in on that and say, hey, it's because of this, I, sure, I'm down. But I like that is the black and the white is represented, the dark and the light. And here she is. She is the pillar between those things. Also, if you'll notice, there's a path that sort of wraps around this. And I like that too, because really we are all kind of on this path to learn about our higher selves. And the only way to do that is to kind of work your way up and to study or open yourself up to these things and learn this stuff. And yes, it's part of all of us. It's knowledge that we have deep inside of us, but we do have to work at it. So it's not just given to us. Really, we have to open up and be willing to follow that path, even though sometimes it can be a little precarious and a little scary. And maybe the knowledge we get isn't something that makes us very comfortable. But it does help us rise above things. It does take us to a higher plane. And in this, it's taking us literally to a higher place. And she is the pillar. She is the mountain. And yeah, our selves, our inner selves, our higher selves, however you want to refer to it, that is what we are all out there to discover, to work on, to look at, and all of those kinds of things. And it's work. It's not easy. I mean, for some people, some levels are easier than others, but 
it is work. It is something that we have to dedicate ourselves to. And the high priestess is very much about that dedication to the esoteric, the dedication to listening to the higher self and striving for that betterment of your inner self as well as your outer self and attaining that crown chakra sort of energy. So I love this. I also like that while there are a few clouds in the sky, and I think I've mentioned this when way back we were talking about more traditional Rider Waite decks, the clouds in the sky usually represent thought process. And so if they're dark, foreboding, big, dark, scary thunder clouds, then there's kind of chaos in the brain or struggle and things like that. But little puffy white clouds here kind of represents, oh, I'm thinking, I'm processing, I'm working on things, but clarity, full clarity has not happened yet. And I really like that, that it's sort of like this constant ebb and flow of ideas and new information and how do I process this and what do I do with it? All of those things are represented by those kind of fluffy white clouds. I'm trying to see if there's anything else exciting in here. Not really. I mean, she is kind of holding her heart and her solar plexus, which is also big time like Reiki and chakra type stuff. So I may be stretching on this a little, but I do like that she has like her hand, her hand on her heart as well as her hand on her solar plexus. So she is both giving and receiving to that energy of the higher self and she is protecting her that information as well. So I dig this card. I really, really like this one. This is one of the ones I think, yep, this is on the side of the box. And if you look for the images of this online, this is one of the images that sold me on this deck because I was like, that's awesome. And I thought it was going to be the tower card, except that there's not a whole lot of destruction and stuff on it. So I'm like, it's got to be something else. But I'm super interested to find out what. And yeah, because it doesn't have the... Uh, number two on it at all so you can't tell what this is so I but I was sold on this on this one image I was like I like this there's a couple other images on the box too that I'm like oh yeah absolutely so that is probably one of the first ones that we've looked at so far that I'm like it holds true to the symbolism if even if you're new to the tarot you'll know that that's a high priestess because it's got the black and the white and those trees of knowledge and all of those kinds of things so I really like that card but I can't wait to see what we got next. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you again very soon.